Okay, so here is Black Knight Optimus Prime from the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction movie advanced line that Takara has. And this guy is based on the Silver Knight Optimus Prime that we got in North America. And uh, he's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to get to my first impressions straight away and tell you I think it's awesome. Uh, it's a bit on the pricey side. I think I paid about 80 bucks for this guy, but he is gorgeous. Um, now, just to backtrack a little bit, um, and give you some context, I don't really collect a lot of movie figures, uh, and I didn't really care for Optimus Prime's look in any of the movies, really, but, um, you know, but the night sort of aesthetic they went for was pretty cool, and I wasn't really a fan of any of the other figures. I'm also not a, generally a fan of black repaints. As far as I know, that trend started out with G.I. Joe in the 80s uh, when they made Snake Eyes, and that was just to save a bit of money on the line because black plastic is easier to produce because you don't have to worry about color. It's just all colors mixed together. And, uh, you know, it's just they just have to make everything black. It's not a problem. It's not difficult. So it's usually a cost-saving measure, um, which is why, you know, I'm not keen on it. And also, and it depends on the character too. I mean, of course, Snake Eyes ended up being a breakout character, but uh, for someone like Optimus Prime, you know, you just paint it black, and I guess he's evil now, right? And I wasn't too familiar with uh, Nemesis Prime or Scourge, but I did read up on them on Wikipedia, because I didn't really watch those cartoons. To me, this is Scourge. Scourge is this guy from the movie, right? But um, I understand there was the uh, uh, the black... Decepticon version of Optimus that was uh, called Scourge, and uh, that's what this guy is going to be in my in my collection. That's why I put these Decepticon stickers on him, which uh, came from Repro Labels or Toy Hacks, as they're called now. Um, I was having a hard time figuring out where to place them. I ended up putting them here, which become his hip skirts and sit sideways in robot mode. And this one is on a shoulder in robot mode, so that worked out all right. Um, but just to get to the point, uh, you know, the teal, the black and teal color scheme is pretty nice, and the red windows, and I was starting to get one over and thinking I should get one of these guys. I thought perhaps I'd get the Laser Optimus Prime, or rather the, you know, the, the G2 Optimus Prime that they did a uh, convention exclusive version of. And then this guy came out, and I just went ahead and got him, because he looks gorgeous, and as you'll see when we get to robot mode, he's got some just more beautiful paint, more silver and teal, and it looks gorgeous. Um, they've recolored his sword and shield to be orange. Oh, right, the shield. That's uh, here, so this is orange instead of blue. And you can plug it here in truck mode, but, it, um, you know, it's a bit silly. And uh, if you take, if you've got a Masterpiece Optimus Prime trailer, and hook it on here, it's about the right size. And I think that looks awesome. It doesn't quite sit at the right height, but, uh, I think that's a great looking display, even though it's got the wrong faction there. Well, wrong faction for me, but yeah, he is supposed to be Optimus Prime, officially. So I'll turn him into robot mode, I guess, and uh, I, I took a red Sharpie and painted in all those lights there. They were just silver. I've also done the Sharpie job on here to make these uh, other gas tanks vaguely silver. Um, oh, just, uh, yeah, before I transform it, you can see it's got the little Western Star um, name here and a W Western Star. Lo no wait, sorry, that one's an Autobot. On the on the wheel rims, he's got Autobot little badges. Here is the Western Star logo, uh, and on the front grille, he has an Autobot badge. Uh, of course, I couldn't really do anything about that to change him to Decepticon. Uh, you know, now that I'm looking at it, he's got some. I thought okay, I thought the chrome were discolored, but I guess it's okay. So yeah, it's nice that the sword can store in uh, truck mode. I think it could... No, you know what? I think it's supposed to go this way. Yeah. I had it backwards. This is an awesome looking truck. I actually... This is one of the few Transformers that I normally keep in vehicle mode. Not always, but... Everything else is bot mode 95% of the time. This guy's truck mode probably 60-70% of the time up on my shelf. So let's show off the robot mode. These sort of pop up 
uncover the chest. And these fold down and pack to the side. You can see it's got his arms packed in here in the side of the torso. These come right down so that you can get his arms out. This is going to be the front of his chest here. We can take these out. That actually hinges back. Well, I can do that now, I suppose. This goes, out. This goes onto his back and slides. Slides up, slides down, <laughs> and this holder for his um, sword flips over and compacts on itself so that you can store the sword on its back when he's a robot, which is great. So now uh, we can pull his arms out here, he's kind of upside down I suppose. Now we'll move on to the legs. I'm going to take this grill apart. I'm just being careful with this. It's quite narrow. Okay, so here's the legs. They come down, the waist spins around 180. I'm just not strong enough to do that on camera. And his feet, where's his feet? There's a bit of spinny stuff that happens here. This, uh, right. These wheels spin around. Oh, actually, let's do this first. This cab spins over like that. And this just tucks out of the way here. Turn this around. Don't turn that around. Take the, <laughs> take the toe out. So that's his heel. Let's do this one properly this time. It's been a while since I messed with this guy. He comes around the hole. Let's see if we can do this first this time. Did I send it the wrong way? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, that's how that goes. Get the toe out of the front. You know, now that I'm looking at it, it would have been cool if they made this look like a seat, because it sits right behind the windshield. Oh well, not a big deal. Okay, now I can stand up. Uh, these spin around, I guess. I guess just to hide the wheels. No, these don't really lock into place, which is unfortunate, so you just kind of line them up the way you like them. Okay, so now you've got a standing prime, and you can swing his uh, crotch plate down here. By the way, this, I like this, this fills in the uh, gap, this little spring-loaded panel, that's when, let's reverse this, when you transform this part of the leg, this part goes up and, oh, right. So that when you're transforming this back into a uh, truck, this tucks right in there, and that panel goes away. That's kind of neat. It took some effort to uh, just to cover, you know, some little holes in robot mode that might have otherwise been omitted. All right, so now you can see this lovely painted silver detail chest. When you pull this down, or when you fold this chest plate down and it goes into the tabs, his head will pop up, which is pretty nice. Straighten out these arms. Again, I put some little repo logos there, just some uh, some translucently backed Septagon logos. Sorry, this is jiggling around here. Here's more of these uh, teal flame paint, which is great. These wrists spin, so it's pretty well articulated. Uh, now you can see that we take the roof here and split this apart. And actually, actually, you know, I should have done this before the head popped up because now my head's in the way. So 
These you can kind of position as you like. They can go back this far uh, or up. You can have them, you know, I guess they're, they're just shoulder armor, basically. And then this, uh, these parts here now fold back into the side to become sort of like a, what is it? Sort of like a armor hip skirts, I guess. I'll just get those behind the leg. It's not the best, but uh, it works alright. Alright. So there he is looking great. Wonderful paint on this. Much better than any of the uh, Hasbro releases. Just a lot more love put into this, I think. The hands are a bit weird. The hinge on the thumb goes like that, right. which is unusual, and then it's got the tab here which goes into the handle of the sword here, on either side, whichever you like, so it works alright, and then you close the uh, thumb, and if you like you can plug his shield into the uh, port on his uh, forearm. Looking good. And of course, the nice thing is the head can um, have the open or closed faceplate. If for whatever reason you want his mouth showing, you can just flip his head up like that. I hope that was visible. And then spin this about. And his other face is there. And you close it back down. And he's got his. Uh, mouth, which I haven't seen since I since I bought this guy because I hate this look personally. I don't think Optimus should have a mouth. Okay, it's not perfectly lined up in there, but that's the idea. Yeah, I didn't quite get that lined up. Let's see if I can fix that. I really don't want to put too much effort into this because I hate it, but I feel I should show it. Okay, there it is. There's his ugly mouth grimacing at you. You see, he's angry because he has a mouth. He doesn't want it. He's shy. Please, you, you must cover my face. Look away, I'm hideous. Yeah, they took a lot of liberties with Prime in the movies. Turned him into a bloodthirsty killer. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's spin this back. Peter Cullen's voice seems to be getting deeper as time goes on, too. If you watch the old cartoons, you know, he sounded authoritative and all, but in the movies, he's very gravelly. Alright, there we are. Sorry about the shakiness. So there is uh, Black Knight, our uh, Optimus Prime. From Age of Extinction. Pretty nice looking robot. Very sexy. Well, I'm just gushing about this guy. This isn't really a review so much as a endorsement because I just I think it's great. The only black repaint I have. The only uh, uh no, not the only movie prime I have. I do have a uh, the evasion mode. Yeah, really cool. Recommend it. It's too bad he's so expensive, but the paint is incredible. It's a precise comparison, I'll put Scourge back there. As you can see, he's quite large. Let's put him next to MP somebody. Let's see. There's MP10, Masterpiece Car. So he's a healthy sized boy. So yeah, he's awesome. You're awesome. Thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate it.